Hello. Good morning. Welcome to Rock Candy Reseller. My name is Billy. I'm a Scorpio. And I sell records and other cool stuff on eBay. And I drink way too much coffee. decided to do rather than do kind of what sold videos every day is compile them all on Fridays and show you what I've sold all week so if you like seeing videos where I show you what I sold on eBay man are you in luck because that's what you're gonna get right <laughs> now <laughs> All right, so things seem like they're kind of picking up steam lately. So hopefully this uh, continues. So let's run through some of the things that sold today. Today is Tuesday and uh, something I don't have a ton of. I maybe have a hundred or so comic books. I only have a few listed, not very many, maybe like 10 or so. Uh, but I just sold a copy of Batman Earth One. Uh, I guess it's a special preview edition. Um, and that just sold for $5.50. So almost every day I sell a set of those uh, acoustic guitar strings. And um, that was all part of like a huge liquidation auction purchase I made. Uh, one of the things I thought I had sold out of, uh, this happens to me a lot because <laughs> I have so much stuff. Um, but I had bought uh, cases of drumsticks and I thought I had sold through all of them. And then I just found the remainders, I guess, of just some stuff that was left over. Um, so this is what I have left that I just found. It was like half a box. It's got about... I think there's about 30 sets of drumsticks, uh, different um, styles, different, um, they're all the same, uh, same brand, but they're uh, different uh, setups, different tips, nylon tips, wood tips, different uh, thicknesses and weights and, and that kind of thing. Um, so I just found that about half a box not even probably like a quarter of a box of drumsticks. Like I said, about 30 pairs. Put those up a couple days and it took a couple days and uh, they started kicking in. So uh, somebody bought uh, three sets from me and I'm selling each pair for, with shipping, It's I think it's a little bit less than 10 bucks. Um, so somebody bought three pairs for like $27, something like that. And then somebody bought one pair uh, for like $9.79 or I think that's what it comes out to with shipping and everything. So, um, uh, so those will be going out. I've already packaged up uh, the person that bought three pairs. I already packaged those up, um, but I stopped to package up the one pair. So I'll be doing that. And also, I mean, we love just like with the drumsticks. You love it when people buy multiples of the same item. Um, and I've shown you these. Uh, outer record sleeves that protect your uh, your records and the and the sleeves um, and some I sold a couple different orders one person bought three um, for about 50 bucks and then another person bought two for about 35 bucks so uh, that's always great uh, because you can just combine them ship them all together and it saves me a ton of money on shipping um, when some when people make multiple orders, so um, it's always a big win when uh, people buy multiple items. I sold another trading card. This one is the infamous William the Refrigerator Perry, and this card is going out the door for a dollar fifty. And sold a couple of records today that I'll be shipping out. Um, this is the uh, debut release from the Killers, Hot Fuss. Great album, love this album, never get tired of hearing it. I've seen them live a few times and uh, they are just great. They are just uh, a great band to watch live. And this record is going out the door for $23.25. Kind of an odd price. <laughs> 
Next album going out the door is a copy of Motley Crue's Greatest Hits. This is a double LP. <clears throat> and this is uh, part of the vinyl restocks of new sealed vinyl that I got in a couple weeks ago and been selling through those pretty quickly. And this one is going out the door for 24 bucks. All right, it is Wednesday morning and I've got a lot of stuff to ship out today. So let me show you what's going on. This thing headed out the door. Uh, the biggest item, this is a uh, turntable that I sold. I actually got this at a uh, liquidation auction. And uh, as you can tell by my uh, eBay store, and by my YouTube channel. I try and stay focused on music and music related items. Um, so anytime I can find a, uh, a record player, um, any kind of uh, electronic item, I try and grab it if I can get it for a good price. I picked this up for like nine or 10 bucks from the uh, liquidation auction. And this is going out the door for 70 bucks. And I think it's gonna cost me around 25, $26 to ship it. So should be somewhere after fees and everything somewhere in the neighborhood of 35 to $40 profit on this one. Next thing going out the door is a uh, Western philosophy textbook that I grabbed at a Salvation Army for a dollar. And uh, it's a uh, college level textbook. And uh, I looked at the comps when I first listed it a couple months ago and I was trying to sell this thing for like 20 to 30 bucks, something like that. Um, because it looks like it looked like that's what they were going for, um, but I slowly lowered and lowered and lowered, and this finally sold uh, for about fourteen dollars. Sold a, another f retail package of the uh, twenty-five top loaders for baseball cards, trading cards, um, for five seventy-nine. First record going out the door today is a nineteen sixty-five press from. Uh, Antonio Carlos Jobim, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, the wonderful world of Antonio Carlos Jobim, and uh, like I said, 1965 press, and this is going out the door for 1050. Next album that was sold was, I believe this is a 1980 release uh, from Devo, Freedom of Choice, and this is going out the door for 1750. 50. This record going out the door is actually a 12 inch single from 1995. This is from DJ Crush. And like I've said before, I don't carry a lot of uh, DJ type uh, vinyl, but I do carry some. And uh, as, I'm go, as I go through stuff, I'll find pockets of it and uh, we'll test them and list them. This one played excellent and is going out the door for 10.50 record going out the door today is from legendary indie punk pioneers Fugazi and uh, this is a 2016 reissue of In on the Kill Taker. So this including shipping brand new sealed album is going out the door for $16.50. It is Thursday and let me run you through some of the sales I'm getting ready to ship out this morning. All right, first things I'll be wrapping up is a couple of different orders for my uh, Dean Markley acoustic guitar strings. Two different people each bought one set, uh, $4.99 each, free shipping. So these are out of here. A couple of CDs for uh, about five bucks a piece. Uh, first one is Mandy Moore. And the next one is the Judds, Winona and Naomi. And both of those sold this morning. Like I said, for about five bucks a piece. So I'll be wrapping those up. And I think I mentioned in a previous video that I found a box um, that had a bunch of uh, band t-shirts. And this was all stuff that we used to uh, carry at the store. So it's basically unsold new stock. Um, some of it though had, cause it was on hangers, you know, while we had the store, we had it on hangers. So some of it unfortunately had a little bit of like fading where the hanger was, which was kind of weird. I didn't notice it when they were at the store, but pulling them out of storage. Uh, and when I was taking pictures, I noticed just on the sleeves, there was a little bit of fading where the hanger was. So kind of odd. So I couldn't really sell them. I sold them as new old stock, making note 
and taking pictures of the fading. Um, so I couldn't really get top dollar for them, um, even though I'd love to, even though they're basically brand new shirts, but they have that uh, little imperfection there. So, um, so I've been selling, as I've been listing them, I've been selling through them. Um, this one is a, I've got it, already got it bagged up, but it's a My Chemical Romance t-shirt. Um, probably can't really see that too good, but anyway, this is going out the door for $13. And like I've been showing you, uh, I sell these, I sell through these pretty regularly um, and just sold another um, 100 pack of these um, clear poly sleeves to put your records in. Um, and these are going out the door for $17.95. I sold a uh, decent eclectic group of records. Uh, first one that sold today is Ronnie Montrose's solo album, Open Fire. Which, if you haven't heard it, is kind of it's not his normal hard rock stuff from the band Montrose. This is more of a progressive feel. wasn't really my bag. Um, I was kind of surprised at how proggy it was. But uh, anyway, this just sold today for six fifty. Then uh, sold a Dokken album. This is the uh, double LP live from Japan called "The Beast from the East." And I actually picked this up at a swap meet for $4, and it is going out the door for $19. You can't get much farther away from Dokken as with old Bee Gees. And uh, most people out there, I think when they hear the name Bee Gees, they think of Saturday Night Fever and all that, but they actually had a huge career in the 60s and early 70s, uh, I mean, and their songs have been covered by just about every, I mean, Nina Simone, I mean, tons of people have covered their uh, older folky style songs. Um, and this is a collection of those, the best of the Bee Gees. Um, and uh, really great stuff. If you haven't listened to old Bee Gees, not that there's anything wrong with the late 70s Bee Gees. <laughs> it's just way more poppy and more disco-y. But uh, their 60s into early 70s material is really great. And so if you haven't heard it, you should check it out. Um, anyway, this sold today and this is going out the door for $8. And then the last group of records that is going out is, uh, these are all purchased by the same person. Um, he bought a grand total of five records totaling $25. Um, some were obviously higher priced than others. Um, and uh, pretty interesting group of records. First one he bought was uh, Dave Brubeck's Greatest Hits. Stanley Clark School Days. Jean-Luc Ponty Imaginary Voyage. And then he kind of mixed things up a little bit with uh, Greg Kinn next of kin that was one of the uh cheaper records he grabbed and then uh elo's olay elo compilation so uh like i said one person snagged all of these and i love that when people do that they get a discount when they uh throw a bunch of records into the shopping cart they get a shipping discount and everything so like i said he snagged all of these for 25 dollars, including shipping what a deal right Friday sales we sold lots of things on Friday. The first thing I sold today, Friday, is a cricket bat. What the hell am I doing with a cricket bat? Well, I found it at a liquidation auction and uh, looked them up and this same model cricket bat was selling for upwards of a hundred bucks. Some were even selling over that. Lo and behold, after I got it though, I realized this model only sold for like an average of 80. But uh, anyway, uh, I got it for 16 bucks, sold it for $57. Um, I've weighed it, um, I haven't, obviously I haven't packaged it up, so I don't know the exact final shipping cost. I'm imagining somewhere around 20 bucks something like that. Uh, it's not very heavy. It's long, but it shouldn't be a very big box. 
So like I said, I'm imagining around 20 bucks to ship. Cost me 16 and uh, gross profit around 20 bucks, something like that, $21. And after fees, probably a gross profit of like 16, 17 dollars, something like that. Hopefully it cost me less to ship, but we'll see. What does cricket have to do with rock and roll? And if I remember right, uh, Ian Faith in the movie Spinal Tap was loosely based on Peter Grant, who was Led Zeppelin's manager, who didn't carry a cricket bat. I think they purposefully changed it so it would be, so it'd be a little more British. Um, but Peter Grant, I think, notoriously was known to carry around a baseball bat. <laughs> and plus, he was a big guy. Uh, anyway, he didn't really need the baseball bat. He was a huge guy. Um, but anyway, so there's your rock and roll cricket bat time. You're welcome. And I sold another couple uh, retail packs of 100 each uh, for the clear record sleeves that you put your records in. Keep them dust-free and safe. Um, and uh, I'm selling these for $17.95 a piece. So uh, about $35, right? <laughs> about $35. Uh, for two packs going out the dough. And I sold a couple of more uh, retail packs of 25 of these trading card top loaders. Um, these sell for $5.79, I think, $5.79 a piece, so about $12. Um, and I'll make money because it'll the combined shipping. Um, so, yeah. So, so. sold a uh, nice chunk of very cool records today. Uh, this is a uh, original version of Super Session with Mike Bloomfield, Stephen Stills, and Al Cooper. Not Alice Cooper, Al Cooper. Um, and this is going out the door for $8. Next record hitting the door is uh, Genesis, A Trick of the Tale. I think I just saw online that they are regrouping and going to tour. So that's pretty interesting. Um, so this sold for $9 and is on its way to a happy home. The last copy that I have for right now until I restock again of Temple of the Dog. And uh, this is going out the door for $21.25, I believe. I also sold the last copy that I have in stock of Red Hot Chili Peppers Blood Sugar Sex Magic. And this is going out the door for $24. And the last record going out today makes me sad to see this go. Um, it's kind of hard to find a uh, used copy of the Civil Wars double LP. I believe it's on 180 gram vinyl. Um, excellent condition. Um, I picked this up probably like a year ago. I think for nine or ten dollars and um, it is going out the door today for I think 20, 20 21 dollars I think I sold it for um, comes with the CD and everything and again like I said double LP 180 gram just such a great album uh, has dust to dust on it the one that got away um, they do their cover version of Smashing Pumpkins Disarm on this and uh, just a great album. Um, I wish they'd get back together. <laughs> but uh, I, I just thought they were awesome. Them and it's like the two duos I wish would get back together. Civil Wars and White Stripes. Uh, I miss you dearly. Um, but anyway, uh, like I said, this is going out the door. And I will be sad to see it go. That'll do it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. And we will catch you on the flip side. Thanks a lot.